It's Jana and welcome to another installment of Stay Inspired. So if you tuned in last week, then you know that we shot, um, or that I shot my husband Dave's headshots. Um, and so the next thing we did is we sent the headshots to his agent. His agent picked two that they want us to edit. So today I'm gonna edit these photos for you um, uh, in the video so you can see how I edit pictures. Just um, took an image that to uh, my Photoshop. So this is the image far away and I'm gonna come up close because the thing that I'm concerned with most is um, as this red spot and a little bit of this under the eyes makes him look like a little bit dehydrated so I don't want to take too much of that away because the last thing I want to do is make him look plastic and I sort of pride myself in not photoshopping too much so um, uh, this is no big deal but I'm just gonna take it anyway by cloning and if you notice I'm at 65% on this um, he's got a little freckle there, but I think it's cute, so we're gonna keep it. And then this line here, you know, I, like I said, I, I don't want him to be plastic, and it's super natural for us to have lines, and and it's, you know, it's a beautiful thing, so I don't want to take everything away. Just this little dehydrated look going on with my hub hub. Yeah. Yeah, just that. Mm -hmm. Nice. Pretty. Whoop. That was weird, so I'm gonna go back into history and take that away. Cool. Um, I'm gonna actually take my opacity down to like 48 now, just because it's getting a little funny up here. And some of you guys might be way better at Photoshop than I am, so um, yours would probably look a lot better. I'm not the best at Photoshop, but this is just... I don't know, should we keep that freckle? Maybe. I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit closer, just in case I wanna go under the eyes. Just a bit of the cloning. Just a little bit. Really low opacity. I'm gonna bring the low opacity even lower. I don't want to take away like how mainly he looks, you know. I think it's cool that those lines mean something. So I'm going to take it back, cool, and now I'm going to go in my history and look, ooh, yeah, okay, so that was before, and this was after the cloning, and I'm feeling happy with that. So now I'm going to go into um, my layer, oh, I don't have to do that, my image adjustments, and then I'm going to do selective color. Because my selective color, I like to go to um, the blacks in this case. And I'm just gonna play with my blacks a little bit. See if I bring them down, it's not so hot. And if I bring it up, I like that. It's even like manly, it's nice, pretty. Yeah, I like that. Ooh, I like that. Um, I'm gonna play with the neutrals too. That's pretty nice and contrasty. So I'm gonna keep it right here and push okay. So after the selective color, I've decided I don't want to go any further with this. Like, I really like it. It looks really manly to me. It looks really good. You know, um, females might be different, and we can do another video on that. But for this one, I like. So I'm just going to save it um, on my desktop, and we're done. And I hope that helps you guys. Thank you so much. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this helps. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, check out my blog. Uh, follow me on Facebook and let's connect on, t on Twitter and Instagram. Lots of things to connect on. So until next time, stay inspired guys. Bye. One thing that we totally forgot to um, to tell you guys is that at the end of the video, we have a little surprise for you. And um, I took a little, some little like ab shots of Dave when he wasn't looking. So <laughs> he's probably gonna kill me, but they're really cute. So I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> have fun. All those dreams we know. All those dreams won't go.
Straight.